Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video. My name is Caitlin and on my channel we talk about all the girly things and all the smell good things. So if you like that type of content, I hope you stay. So in today's video, we're going to be going over my top recommendations, my top picks for perfumes to wear on Valentine's Day. Whether you're staying in or you're going out on a fancy date, I have something for everyone. Now before we get started, all of these perfumes that I'm going to be recommending today, I'm actually going to be making a layering video a little later on. So if you're interested in that, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you want to help support. Leave a comment on what you're going to be wearing for Valentine's Day. Now all of these perfumes are attention getters. You're going to get compliments. You are going to definitely get his attention, his or her attention. They're not going to be able to get enough and the people around you are going to smell you too. So all of these do project very well and they are compliment magnets. The first one I have here is actually one of the newer ones in my collection, but I cannot get enough of it. So that is Yara by Latafa and I'm sorry about the light. It's super bright outside and it's shining in kind of weird, but Yara by Latafa, you guys. It is addicting. Addicting to smell. It's kind of powdery. It's very sweet. It does have like gourmand and marshmallow and vanilla accords in it. It's creamy. It does like give me... It gives me like strawberries and cream vibes. Because of that gourmand accord, you definitely get like some tropical fruits in it. And now that it's sat for a few days, I get that even more. But this is one that does sit a bit closer to the skin. But it does still project very well. Everybody around you is going to smell you. This one is a huge compliment magnet. For it's sweet. It's musky. It's going to want it's going to bring him in for more. He's going to want to keep leaning in. He's going to want to keep smelling you. You you get what I'm saying. Yara by Latafa is one I would definitely recommend for Valentine's Day. So next up here, I have Versace Crystal Noir. This one, as many times as I've gone over this one, I still cannot describe this one the way it should be, but it's clean it's fresh it's coconut but it's also dark and mysterious and sexy this is the edt like i've mentioned before i do not have the edp this one it does not have a coconut note in it but it absolutely does have coconut in it so this one is like i said dark mysterious men are so attracted to this one and I'm not sure why but this is one of my most complimented of eternity of eternity but this one my boyfriend again absolutely loves this one on me it projects it leaves a scent trail this one he's not gonna have to lean in too close to smell it but once he does smell it it is going to keep him wanting more but you guys if you like sweet dark mysterious kind of musky type scents this one perfect and if you were trying to go out for like a very nice dark lit dinner this one will last all evening and it will set the mood it will fit the vibe perfectly so next up here i have kaali vanilla 28 so if you don't know, vanilla is actually known to be an aphrodisiac for men, which this one, I cannot get enough of this one. It is addictive. The scent of it, mm, it really is just so addictive. It projects pretty well, but it does kind of, like on me, I've noticed that it does kind of adapt to my skin and it just kind of becomes just like a very sexy, very darkened vanilla that 
First of all, by the way, this really does last for forever on me. I've heard some people say that it doesn't last super long, but on me, this lasts well over 10 hours. And even at that point, at that 10 hour mark, it's just kind of a skin scent. It's not projecting. It's not, you know, nobody else around me is going to be able to smell it. But it layers beautifully with other, per other perfumes as well. But on its own, men are going to love this on you. Your date is going to love this. It is literally hypnotic to men. I don't know what is in this, but if you have not tried Vanilla 28 yet, you need to get your hands on this. This is probably one of my number one picks for Valentine's Day. If you're just wanting to kind of capture him, allure him, you know, be alluring and be mysterious, kind of seductive. This one is definitely the one you want. So this next one at this point you guys know is one of my top favorite. So of course I had to recommend it for Valentine's Day because it is just that sexy. It's dark, it's mysterious, it's projecting, it lasts. It's gonna last you all evening and into the next morning. This is Fenty by Fenty, the EDP. This one is kind of a dark, incense-y, musky vanilla with some very dark fruits. It has rose in it. It's such a sexy, sexy perfume. Mm. If you guys don't know, this was also one of my other top compliments. This will run you about $140 from Sephora, but well worth the money because and this is coming from somebody who loves cheap perfumes this one you, it does not take much and the sprayer is kind of like a fine mist type of sprayer and just the scent itself it's gonna project around you it's gonna linger around you it's gonna fill up a room and it's going to leave your date wanting more it's gonna make you feel sexy this is one that I pictured like a little black dress or a little red dress. This is not for, it's not for the faint of heart, I would say. This is one that you want to put on when you feel your sexiest, when you feel your best. You have like black lacy, like a black lacy dress on. This one is going to put you in that mood of you are just a boss. Like you own this Valentine's Day. This will make you feel so sexy and feel so good about yourself and everybody around you is going to see you the same way. So the next one we have here is one that's on the cheaper end of things, but it does not lack quality. This one should be hundreds of dollars, but you can find this one for like 10 or $15 at like Ross, Marshalls. So this is Guest Seductive Noir. If you have never smelled this, the best way I can describe this is, I believe it had like sage in it, vanilla, vetiver, some iris, which makes it a bit powdery. This one is another one that is so addicting. This is a 2.5 ounce. This is an EDT, but it does not perform like an EDT whatsoever. It will perform all evening. It does project even whenever it's not projecting anymore and it sits closer to the skin. It is just so addicting. It is divine. This is probably, so this is probably one of my boyfriend's favorite ones that I have. And I know that I'm kind of comparing a lot of like what I have to what my boyfriend likes, but this is just ones that I know they they're gonna stand out on a date so i mean they're gonna be very good for date night they're gonna be good for valentine's day they're gonna make you feel sexy they're gonna get you compliments and this one is just it's right up that alley like i said this one it's just like a very sexy dark kind of not smoky but kind of an earthy it's an earthy vanilla That'll be the best way that I can say this. If you have ever smelled, I think it's Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. 
that one it smells super similar but this one is it does not have that heavy lavender they're very much so in the same family but this one if you can find this one it's on Amazon it's at Marshall's Ross TJ Maxx 99% of the time but this one I would 100% recommend for Valentine's Day so this next one is actually a fragrance mist but it is very very good quality this one is gonna be one that would be good for like a lunch date or like if you're just hanging out at home and you're not doing anything super fancy but it could also be worn out on a date in the evening time so that is pure seduction Lux. now this one i think this came out in 2022 this one i think you can still get at victoria's secret but please don't quote me on that this one okay so this one has notes of posh violet and strawberry nectar that's all it says and it's not on fragrantica that i could find but it just says an opulent take on pure seduction so this one is kind of like a musky strawberry like a musky strawberry with like some vanilla maybe some woodsy notes in it but for this one i'm actually gonna dupe this one this is actually very very similar to burberry her and burberry her elixir which is what i have so they smell very similar this one is just like a little bit creamier it's a little bit smoother but so okay so just kind of a quick sorry i keep bumping the camera but just kind of a quick spoiler alert in my layering video i'm actually going to mention these two together these pair beautifully together i love these together so much and it lasts for hours 10 plus hours this one is already strong on its own but layering them together i do have the lotion to it too but layering them together all day long for hours so next up the girls that get it get it if you know you know pink sugar by aqualina men love this one it's caramel it's cotton candy it has licorice in it i think it has strawberry in it this one it's it's a classic but it's still so good it's edible this one is super long lasting too again this is another one that my boyfriend loves on me he always compliments me whenever I wear this one, but Pink Sugar, I won't spend too much time on it because you guys already know it's just a classic, but this really would be good for Valentine's Day, especially if you're like chilling at home, you're not doing anything super fancy. This is not super fancy, but it's fun, it's flirty, it's kind of gourmand. Like I said, it's caramel, cotton candy, very sweet, very delicious smelling very edible it's pink sugar so next up is one that is actually from a dupe house but i can 100 percent say that it is a spot on dupe so this is juliana's perfume this is called a night to remember and this is a dupe for love don't be shy by killian which is about 250 dollars i think for I think it's like a two fluid ounce or something and this was about 60 or 65 but this one if you guys don't know love don't be shy is so it's very orange blossom marshmallow forward and to me it kind of gives me almost like fruit loop vibes mm. like fruit loop fruity pebbles but make it sexy this one oh my gosh is one of my all-time favorite perfumes ever it does stand out in a crowd it projects it lasts it lingers like i said it's orange blossom it's marshmallow it's vanilla 100 percent would be perfect for valentine's day for a day date a dinner date you're staying in you're going out it does not matter this one is beautiful 
So the next one I have, this should come as no surprise. This is Rose's Vinny. I've talked about this one quite a few times, so I'm sure you guys know kind of my thoughts on this one. But this is Rose's Vinny by Mansara, if I didn't say that already. It's a very, a very creamy floral very creamy rose and you guys know that I'm not a big fan of rose forward scents but this one this one is addictive mm. it projects it lasts it's especially in the dry down it's more vanilla than rose so the dry down just turns into the creamiest vanilla the way that I've always liked to describe this one was like a vanilla milkshake with rose petals in it or just like a rose and vanilla milkshake that's almost exactly what i would give this one it's creamy it's milky it's loud it's strong but men love this one it's perfect for day or night it you're staying home going out you're going to a club like it literally does not matter this is good for all occasions and it doesn't matter where you live either. If you live in warmer climates, this is perfect. If you live in colder climates, this one is going to cut through the cold. It's going to still last you all day. It is beautiful. It's girly. It's feminine. It's going to garner you compliments. Your date is going to love this on you and they are not going to be able to get enough. It is so addictive. So back to the lower end, like the cheaper end of things, Dream Moon by Pacifica is so pretty. This one I would definitely say would be better for like a day date. You could even wear this at night, but in my opinion, this is better for like a day date or like staying at home, dinner at home. But if you guys don't know, Dream Moon smells super similar to Cloud by Ariana Grande. But to me, this one's a bit sweeter. Spray it on this one. So to me, it's a bit sweeter. But not by much. It's almost identical, but this one is about $20. And I think this is a, yeah, this is a one point or one fluid ounce. But if you guys don't know, Pacifica is a clean brand. I adore Pacifica so much. They're vegan and they're cruelty free. These are very straightforward. They say it's straight on the front of the bottle. But to describe this one, if you guys know that Cloud is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540, this is a dupe for Cloud. They're all very difficult for me to describe, but they're kind of sweet, kind of airy. This one kind of gives more cotton candy vibes, but make it sexy because it's kind of musky. And if you guys don't know, musk is super sexy and men love the smell of musk. This I'm struggling with this one because it's just, it's a very, it's unique, even though it is done a lot in a lot of perfumes but it's still very unique it's one that's still gonna last and it's still going to get you a lot of compliments this one is i'm struggling so much to describe this one but this one if you guys run to target just give this one a smell let me know what you think this is a very nice one it's going to be perfect for valentine's day again it's girly, feminine, flirty, fun. I love it. So what would Valentine's Day be without a boozy vanilla? Valentino Donna, born in Roma. This one is so sexy. Like I said, it's boozy, it's vanilla, it's sweet, it projects, it lasts. It's addictive to smell. This one has, I believe, jasmine in it has um vanilla bourbon i think it has a few notes on it i'm not gonna look up the notes right now because my ipad is completely dead so i'm just trying to remember these on off the top of my head but like i said this one boozy vanilla sweet a little floral very girly but still 
clean. If that makes sense. To me, this is still kind of clean. And this one is a massive compliment getter. Every single time I wear this one, I get compliments. My boyfriend loves this one on me. He's even said that this one's addictive to smell. He could not stop smelling me the first time I wore this one. It's so sexy. It's I've said before, this is like the definition of a pretty girl perfume, and I still stand by that. You can totally get away with date night, like day or night dates with this one. Any outfit, casual, dressed up, this is good for all the time. Good for colder weather or warmer weather, so again, it doesn't matter where you live. But this one, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be wearing this for Valentine's Day. It is beautiful and perfect for Valentine's Day. All of these are perfect, but this one is definitely one that I would recommend. All right, you guys, so those were a few of my top recommended scents to wear on Valentine's Day. There was a good amount and a little bit for everyone, kind of. There were some that were darker, some that were a little more gourmand, some cheaper end, higher end. Like I said, just a little bit for everyone. And every one of those are going to be immaculate for Valentine's Day. Whether you're staying in or going out, you can literally wear all of these for either. <laughs> but some are just kind of better suited for like going out than others. But that's just my opinion. You can literally wear whatever you want, whenever you want. So if you guys saw any that you plan on wearing or if I gave you an idea of something to wear for Valentine's Day, definitely let me know. Leave a comment down below or if you already have your scent for Valentine's Day picked out, leave it down below and maybe I can make a part two to this video. If you guys have recommendations, I can just go over those. But Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day and I hope you have so much fun. Please stay safe. Stay safe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys again. I love you.